Every time I get up at night and stumble over some unseen object in the dark on the way to the bathroom, I'm so grateful that I have electricity. Um, with a flick of a switch, I can flood that hallway with light. Of course, uh, the folks in Bible times didn't have electricity, and yet they felt the need to extend their daily activities into the hours past sunset. And here's how they did it. These are oil lamps uh, that come from Bible times. Different shapes from different periods. You can see the design changes, but basically they function in the same way. The fuel was olive oil, and uh, the lamp was made just large enough for one evening's activity of olive oil. It had a little pinch in this case, so that the wick could be dipped into the fuel. The fuel would move up to the end of the wick, and there at the end, you'd have a very low power flame. When Jesus was talking to the disciples about their lifestyle, how they were choosing to live, he mentions the lamp and says to them, let your life be like a lamp, uh, a light that shines brightly into the lives of others. It's a, a beautiful illustration. It reminds me of a responsibility that I have as a child of, of God. Uh, there are some people uh, who will read no Bible except the one lived out in my life. They won't be going to church. They won't be opening a Bible of their own but they're gonna to look to see how my light is shining. It's the lifestyle that we live that they will notice and be attracted to.